Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to fine tune newly released multimodal model named QN2 VL. VL is an acronym for Vision Language. So it's a Vision Language model created by Alibaba Cloud, and QN is the organization within who has created this model. Model has amazing capabilities when it comes to multimodalities. Now dealing with images videos and different dimensions of data which is crucial because it's an open source model and it's very small when it comes to uh, you know the the people are going gaga about the parameters and everybody's trying to build larger models if you look at open ai and Tropy, google so on and so forth mainly the closed source ones because they have to make a lot of money and when they train these kind of models, they have abundance of data, they have the compute, they have the money to basically train these uh, models. But now I appreciate organizations or research group or individuals who can create a smaller models because that's the need, by the way. Uh, if you look at, you know, the environment, the carbon footprint, sustainability, you know, all these enterprises talk about sustainability, but if you ask them how it really works, they have no answer for it because they don't really know what to do there. So that's what we're gonna do here in this video. Look at QN2 VL, how we can fine tune it. I already have created two videos on QN2 vision language. One is with the text and images, the other with the video. Okay, I will give those videos link in description. Check those out if you want to inference and run and not want to fine tune it. If you want to fine tune it, then this is the video for you. We're going to use Llama Factory in order to fine tune QN2 VL model. So let's jump in and see how we can do that. Now, if you, if you look here on my screen, I am on Collab right now. And uh, Collab Free, you can't fine tune it. So don't try to fine tune on Collab Free version. I, I would like to save your time. Okay, you can fine tune it if you have the compute, like you know, some decent GPUs if you have, okay, uh, like V100, A100, L4, RTX. You know, like more than at least if you want to fine tune 2B model, at least like 12 GB of GPUs that you need, you know, uh, to fine tune it. At least for two, three epochs. Uh, you can try it out on t4 if it works then it's good but i don't recommend that now if you don't want to try collab you can try run pod uh, you can try lambda lab sage maker vertex ai you know you can use any other things that you have you know vast ai by paper space blah 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 okay now it's up to you what you want to try it out now i'm going to use llama factory but before i jump into the this fine tuning i'll show you that i've created a video uh, when when did i create i created this video like january this year that's called anybody anyone can fine tune llms using llama factory so i recorded this like seven eight months back and i will recommend you first watch this video before you watch the current video because in if you watch this video you'll understand the fundamentals behind llama factory now llama factory is a low code no code tool or you can say a framework that basically helps you fine tune large language models or ai models in general when i say ai models i bring everything multimodality is within it right so uh, i'll first recommend that you understand about llama factory and these are all you know high level functions abstract classes api that have been created for you so you can basically just use this frameworks or tool to fine tune it you know like quickly and you're going to use llama factory here now you have to build it from source so what i am doing if you see i am cloning this github repository to so what you have to do this is the github repository of llama factory you come here you click on code click on this copy url to clipboard come here and just git clone and do that now uh, if what i'm going to do next is i have to go inside this repository so you can just do cd and we're going to do llama factory here you can see it's suggesting me so i just going to go inside llama factory and i will expand this file here now you can see we have a folder called llama factory now within llama factory we have bunch of subfolders and files we're going to talk about that in a bit now you can see we are cd and let's just do pwd to find out present working directory if you don't know collab is working on like collab has you know basically it's built on linux so basically it probably has been using ubuntu and so on and so forth so it's not a windows system that empowers it now you can see pwd content llama factory and once you are done with that you have to install a few things so what i'm going to do is i'm going to first do pip install pip install hyphen r requirements txt uh, requirements pip install hyphen r requirement pretty straightforward thing guys where you do 
you know install all these dependencies we're going to install a few more dependencies we're going to install bits and bytes we're going to install uh some kernels that basically helps us you know with faster and let's just restart the session you can see i'm restarting session so we're going to just restart okay now we have restarted let's just do pip install bits and bytes so there are two ways you can fine tune uh using llama factory guys one is through llama board but basically a gradio application where you do not have to write a single line of code basically you just use the no code tool to fine tune it and the other one is the cli one where you have to line like a couple of commands where you just have to run that within the cell now you can see we have done this now if you want to work with qn if you want to inference or you want to fine tune for both the scenarios you cannot rely on the transformers library available through pip it, it's not updated yet we have to build it from source so you have to do pip excuse me you have to do pip install and then just install it through github okay otherwise you will get error so what i'm going to do is you can see here i'm doing pip install and most of you are facing this problem right now you know you're getting this error so what i'm going to do is https and i need that link by the way okay you can see it's probably suggesting me now https github blah 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 and just dot git now when you do that it will install transformer from github source so it's not going to rely on uh you know the uh, the pipe now a couple of more things you're going to install and after that we are going to pretty easy guys you know if you just watch the previous video the llama factory you'll understand where i've covered the uh, fundamentals behind it and okay now the next is we're going to install some metrics you know so if you want we're going to install pip install and you can install this in a single line as well uh pip install hyphen e but i i prefer doing like this because sometimes it's restart the sessions you know i don't want to do that because I, on colab pro 800 you get you get it if you are lucky otherwise you know in some region it says it's not available and basically it's route to l4 gpu and i don't want that to happen Oh, okay i think i restarted so i have to again go inside it except forgot that i guess okay when you restart you have to go inside the folder again so make sure that if you are restarting it you are going inside you are seeding inside into the llama factory uh, uh repository now once you are done with that we're gonna you can start llama board or you can just go into CLI. You can also in install something called Liger kernel, basically that helps you with efficient computation. So I'm gonna also just gonna install that. So let me just do here. So pip install Liger kernel. And after that, there are two ways we can do it. Two ways we can run this guys. One is that through llama board and the other one is through CLI as I said. So I'm just gonna write it over here. So let me just do llama board okay and just do llama board and the other one is of course through cli that you can do so it depends on you how do you want to do it i'll show you both the ways you know uh, basically and you can just prefer any one of it okay it's your choice to do that and you you can fine tune by different ways i'm going to explain that we have different techniques to fine tune through sft dpo so on and so forth you know and it's your choice what kind of data you have here right and we're going to talk about that in a bit okay now let me just uh, search and so you know if you look at here this file i search it from my history because i was working with it now if you look at this file we have two things we have uh if you go to examples on llama factory folder on github inside train lora and you have this file just right here let me show you now if you expand this the same thing and come to examples and examples what you're going to do click on train lora within the train lora you can find out different yaml files now these yaml files are nothing but the pre-config or pre-configured you know uh, uh 
jobs yaml file for you basically using these files you can run the training jobs or fine tuning whatever jobs you can run it because they have configured everything for you so how many epochs you want to train it you know which model you want to use what kind of data sets you want to use and different different hyperparameters that you can tweak all of have been configured within these yaml files now you can fine tune llama 3 you can fine tune you know qa and lava 1.5 blah 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 depending on whatever whatever you want to do it now if you click on SFTQN, you will find out this file here and you can just use that to fine tune it. So let me show you how. Okay. Now, one is Llama board and I will add one more text here. The other is Llama factory CLI. So there are two ways you can do it. One, as I said, Llama factory CLI and Llama board. Now, if you look at Llama board, it's pretty straightforward you do import os and we already inside a llama factory uh, so what i'm going to do is you know just start the gradio application so you just do gradio underscore share if you do share equals one it means it will open in a new uh, it will open in a new tab within the browser so it will have a public url if you have ever worked with gradio if you don't do gradio share equal to one if you make it zero it will just open in local host right it will not open in a browser so that will be a difficult for you right now you do here llama factory and llama factory uh, you know hyphen cli and then web ui this is how you do it so if you do this it will open that in an in a, in a web ui that's what i'm going to do here so let me just run this All right, now if you see this, it has opened an entire Gradio application for you with a lot of things happening here, right? Let me walk you through step by step, but we're not gonna use this board to fine tune. We're gonna probably go with command, you know, the Llama CLI, the same thing, you know, this is more intuitive. You can, like with very less experience, you can deal with this. Now, if you look at your model name, you search for QN, and you can see I'm searching for QN, and you can find out all the listed models that Llama factory supports currently. All the model that Llama Factory is supporting is over here. Now, if you come down, you can find out QN2 VL2B chat, you know, QN2, all these models that it's available here, right? You know, it's up to you what you want to do. So, for example, if I just go with uh, QN2 VL2B chat, I select this model. You can see it over here. Language is English. The model path, it takes it, you know, pre trained model or model identifier, the instruct model, it's an instruction tuned which has been downstream fine tuned for uh, downstream tasks like chat. Okay, that's the instruction tuned model. Now, uh, fine tuning method, LoRa is fine. If you want to do full fine tuning, you can also do that, but it requires a lot of computation. I don't have that with me. Now, you can also expand this advanced configurations. Now, if you click on this advanced configurations, it will show you quantization bit. If you want to enable Q LoRa, quantized LoRa, 4 bit, 8 bit, blah, blah, blah. If you want to do that, you can also do it here. I'll just keep none. Quantization method. If you want to use BNB, bits and bytes. If you want to use prompt template, this is fine because we're going to use QN model. You can use any other model templates depending on what base model you are using or what model you are using here. If you are using Mistral model, then you're going to select Mistral over here in the system prompt templates, right? rope scaling keep it none you know this is a bit you should understand i recommend you should learn about these things you know in a bit detail i have a video on all these techniques that's called lm fine tuning is i recommend you watch that video now you can use liger kernel here if you want to do booster i want to keep auto here let system decide what they want to use supervised fine tuning you can use dpo direct performance optimization you know ppo reward modeling pre training depending on what kind of data you have here is your data directory now in the data set you can select which data you want so i'm going to select mm uh, not mm if you come here they have shown you the data so if you look at mllm demo so let me just search that here come on the board and mllm demo you can see it over here the same data that we're going to have 
so you can just select the data over here right now if you want to use any other data as well you can also do it you can also bring up your own data you have to go into the data folder where you can prepare data use first you can do it two ways you can do it locally and you can do it through hugging face if you want to do it through hugging face prepare your data and then upload that on hugging face and then you can change it over here now that is done you can preview the data sets if you click on preview data set you can find out all the previews of data sets over here you can find out let me just i don't know if i can expand this it doesn't seem like that but yeah you can look at all the objects you know you can find out everything that you know you can read here the formatting of the data now let me just close it you have number of epochs these are all hyperparameters, guys depends on how you want to fine tune it if you want to do bf16 or if you want to do f6 fp16 or fp32 depending on that learning rates batch size gradient accumulations how do you want to use gpu parallelly and so on and so forth right and then you come here give give some path if you want to change the output directory you can do that and then you can just do a start okay once you do a start it will start fine tuning it okay now that's the one way of doing it the other way is let me just you know turn this off you can see i've just turned this off okay and i'll just get rid of this output for now so i'm gonna say so hide output the other way is to use through cli and you can also use through cli as well now for that first i'm gonna create a bunch of uh basically you can use the yaml as well but you can also create so if you were if you don't have any yaml file and if you want to create your own configs how you can do that so first let's do import json as i said we're gonna use sft trainer here like we're gonna use supervised fine tuning which is happening through somebody's supervision just like pretty much self-explanatory it's a censored model where you have supervision of somebody who is supervising like you would, if you have learned machine learning you will know about it right supervised unsupervised blah 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 very similar underlying principle remains same some of it not completely yeah but there are different techniques dpos and ppos and blah 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 but here i'm going to use uh safety now create a dictionary of your argument and within that i'm going to create key values pair so the, you can you're going to have a bunch of things so first is a stage what stage of model you want to do so i'm going to do sft so you can see i have sft here and do train so do train of course you're going to have true you can see do train and let me take let me see if we can take it from llama factory a lot of course to write they would have given some collab notebook let me open this notebook over here and see what are they providing now if you click on this yeah you see this this is what we need so let me just get this thing here okay but we're gonna make some changes so let, let's come back ask put it here that's why i think i didn't copy it excuse me Ooh, okay arguments and then come and then just paste here and let's make a bunch of changes here model name we're gonna change we're gonna use this model here so let's come here and change this thing so you can see the model has been changed uh alpaca and no i'm gonna use this thing so let me just use data sets from here and paste it here template i'm gonna of course change this as i have shown you earlier that how you can use this template which is qn2 vl that's the template it's not a llama model so we're not going to use that llama 3 lora let's call it qn2 vl lora this all looks nice probably do not make any changes here and just create run this now once you run it you have to basically you know uh, open this to create a json dump right so let me just do that so i'm going to do json dot dump and in the json dot dump i'm going to pass the arguments json dot dump and then you're going to open a file so let me just do open and here i'm going to create a file so i'm going to say train underscore q n2 or whatever q n2 vl json and then you can you know write the file so for that i'm going to use write and you can have an utf8 utf8 encoding so encoding here encoding utf8 and then uh, we're gonna indent keep some indentation because it will look nice you know when you create the like dump the json and you can see i have dumped it let me just do one thing let me get rid of this this like looks very i don't know why it's why the hell you know sometimes it's like hangs okay but it's okay 
we have json.dump now the next thing i'm going to do is llama factory so i'm going to use the cli so i'm going to do llama factory you can see it's showing me here llama factory cli and i'm not going to pass this like we don't need this you, you can remove config for a single argument you don't need it and we just do train and then we just do train ql2 qn2 vl.json that's the file that i've created now if you click on this file here you can find out the arguments over here now i'll show you we might get an error and how you can fix that error i'm going to also talk about it now let me just show you here this is what we have done stage sft supervised fine tuning we have do train true because you know as i said right oh i can see there is okay this is fine do train true and then you have model name or path you can see qn2 vl blah 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 mlm demo this is the data set the template the fine tuning and everything looks nice now let me just close this and now if you get an error it means then i might get it because i forgot one thing and i'm going to talk about it if that happens because somehow i think that i didn't install transformers within the probably i don't know let's let's have a look okay if i have done that then it's okay you can see the model has been down down has been downloaded now okay all, like almost like and it once it's downloaded it will load the model okay you can see now the model has been loaded loading checkpoint starts almost done and you can see the fine tuning has now started you can see the fine tuning now you can fine tune on on better uh, data sets as well you can see this fine tuning is started and i'm using a single a100 if you want to do multiple fine like multi gpu fine tuning using accelerate and deep speed guys i have a very good video on that that you can you should watch that where i have fine tuned on two different gpus okay or uh, two different a100 gpus on run pods so i'll recommend to recommend you to watch that because if you want to uh, you know fine tune on a larger data sets like gbs of data sets then you need multiple gpus one gpus gpu will not be sufficient in that case if you see here we are successfully fine tuning it you can fine tune it from here or you can fine tune it from here guys you know depends on you llama board or llama factory cli whatever okay now there's one more way of fine tuning it guys that qn recommends that they have a documentation where they show how you can fine tune it uh, you can also follow that now you can see I have my fine tuning has been successful. Okay. Uh, of course, that's not the best model. You should not use this at all. Okay. In production, we have to do a lot of changes. We have to tweak the hyperparameters to make it better. But this was the idea. Now we have fine tuned the model. Okay. Now I'll just expand this here. Okay. Now cool. I am just gonna do this. And let me walk you through all the folders guys if you look at the assets you can find out all the logos okay for gradio and everything this is in the assets in the cache you can find out all the cache thing that is like stored in data you can find out different data you can see all these different types of data are available here json files and you can bring up your own data as i said you can also use docker to set this up in evaluations you can also use mmlu you can see which is very famous for you know uh, multi benchmarking over here you can see the mmlu and then we have the examples where you have accelerate and deep speed as i said if you want to fine tune on multiple gpus multi gpu uh, if you want to do it multi node multi gpu you can also do that you know in the examples and you can see our lora here this is where our fine tune model have been stored everything you can find out the bunch of things over here now you would also like to basically you know you like to merge this right lora adapter so i have a bunch of code of course these code again have been uh taken from llama factory okay so i'll show you how you can merge this if you want to merge it out now here we have to make some changes i'm gonna replace this llama 3 to qn2 vl and i'm gonna say to be instruct underscore lora merged and template not qn3 you know what you're gonna have in template let me take the template thingy from here the qn2 vl so this is how you can basically merge you can see qn2 you might get gpu uh, like CUDA out of memory error because if you don't have sufficient gpu so first have to clean the entire you clean the entire cache and everything 
uh, free up the memory and space and then you start doing it adapter name uh, we know an ad adapter name right we can just change the uh, adapter name over here so this is what the adapter name is where did it go man okay the adapter okay here sorry excuse me q and 2 v loda okay come down and then you can you have to also change this we are not using metal llama 38b okay mark zuckerberg is like so obsessed with ai now after metaverse like after his failed metaverse stint you know he's like all back with ai and that's thanks thanks you know to meta for doing whatever they do for the open source ai space but he was completely failed when it comes to metaverse he was so obsessed he changed the name from facebook to meta okay uh your id blah 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 you know you can also if you see here the hugging face sub id to upload model you can also upload it but for that you need to basically you know uh you have to log in first and then do it okay, you can see export device blah 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 this all looks nice now you can run this and see if you are able to basically merge the adapters and of course once you have merged the adapters you can basically find it out over here and then you can push it to hugging face repository export hub model id you can also do that but i'm i'm not going to do that for now you can see the arcs and a, and you know you can just i'm just going to copy this here to basically first save this not merge llama 3 i'm going to say qn 2 vl dot json and this all looks nice okay i don't need that okay we already inside it okay i think if even if you keep it doesn't make a lot of changes like it's fine and i'm gonna just say qn2 vl and let's copy this thing and now you can just run this now if you run this if you are successful it means that your merge has been successful if you get any error we basically have to uh, debug that and see what what's what's wrong and then you probably you can you can push it to hugging face The good idea is to free up the space guys the cache and everything and check the gpu memory and then do it okay that's the idea and let me just get rid of this okay you can see we have saved it okay and i'm just gonna get rid of this okay you can find out your thing here if you expand this you can find out all the safe tensors over here Okay, you can find out the safe tensors. Okay, now all the safe tensors, the config, and everything is over here. Now you can just upload these guys on Hugging Face. You know, and I have shown this in a lot of previous videos. But yeah, it's pretty much. If you don't want to save it through this Llama factory, you can you can upload that through, uh, you know, Hugging Face API, HF API as well. You know, and then that's how you can do it. That's all for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. Uh, QN2 has created havoc. In multimodalities and a lot of people are creating videos and 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 i think the model deserves all the attention that we are providing or we are giving to it if you have any question thoughts feedbacks let me know in the comment box you can also reach out to me through my social media channels find those information on channel banner and channel about us you can join our discord server where we help each other 600 people have already joined the discord community where we have internship job opportunities and a lot of things waiting for you uh if you like the content please hit the like icon if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe the channel guys that motivates me to create more such videos in your future thank you so much for watching see you in the next one